Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels, where we tell you the good, the bad, and the points of interest of your favorite cities. We do town tours, highway drives, and lists just like this one. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a future upload. We've talked about the following cities in other videos on our channel. We've highlighted the great attractions they have to offer and also what the residents complain about the most and why they might not be a good fit for you. But taking important things like cost of living, safety, real estate, and entertainment into consideration, we feel these are great options to settle down and call home. Ladies and gentlemen, here's our list of the top 10 places to live in America in 2022. Number 10, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Located in the southeastern region of Tennessee, Chattanooga is a really beautiful city with a lot of history. With just under 180,000 people, it still retains that small town feel and its downtown isn't full of congestion. The metro is much larger with over 560,000 people. For people who enjoy the outdoors, you'll not run out of things to do here with what the Appalachian Mountains has to offer. Lookout Mountain is a great area attraction for not only seeing the city, but also for its history and deep ties to the Civil War. While home prices are a bit on the high side of around $300,000, they tend to get sold as quickly as they're listed. Household incomes average around $45,000 and most residents there work in the healthcare industry. Its location puts it at an advantage as it's not far from other major cities like Atlanta, Knoxville, and even Birmingham if you should ever need to get to them. Chattanooga is very unique to Tennessee as it's got a totally different feel compared to Nashville or Memphis. Number 9. Des Moines, Iowa Des Moines is the capital city of Iowa and home to about 215,000 residents. It's home to a great art scene and a locally famous farmer's market where people crowd the streets for local food and to hear good live music. What makes the city so appealing is that while it's a larger city, the home prices are still really affordable. The median home value is only $180,000, and there's a lot to choose from when you look in the right place. Des Moines is home to a state historical museum, a zoo, botanical garden, art center, and a number of parks. It's a great place to move to with a family because there's a lot to do to keep children busy. Another plus of living there is that if you decide you want to get out of the city, it's really easy to find a road out to the countryside of Iowa. Jobs there are so-so unless you work in the finance industry or for the government. The good news is that you don't need to make a lot of money to live comfortably in a place like Des Moines. Number 8. Huntsville, Alabama It's hard to compare a city like Huntsville to other cities of similar size in Alabama. With 196,000 people calling it home, it is located in the northern Appalachian region. It's actually the largest city in the state and definitely the cleanest and provides the most opportunity. It's home to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center and the United States Army Aviation and Missile Command. That means there's a lot of well-paying jobs available, which is good because the market there is hot. You can expect to pay around $300,000 for a decent place and homes usually sell quickly being on the market for around 32 days. Being in the mountain region of Alabama, there are many outdoor activities to go along with the space stops. People of all ages can find something of interest to do while they're here, and if you're into repurposed old buildings with new vibrant shops, you'll really enjoy downtown. It's also really easy to get to a number of other cities if you want for entertainment or business. Number 7. Charleston, South Carolina when you think of your typical southern city, you probably picture a place like Charleston. It's a picturesque place that over 135,000 people call home. Founded in 1670, the city is full of cobblestone streets, antebellum houses, and beautiful waterfront attractions. All of this, of course, makes it a very expensive place to live. The median sales cost of a home there is $450,000. If you can swing that payment, there is a lot to do. Everything from great restaurants, sunset boat rides, beautiful beaches, and a feel of history like only Charleston can give you. 
It's home to one of the most historic Civil War sites in the country, Fort Sumter. You can take a ferry ride across the harbor to the island to do some exploring. This is one of the best places to live for an old charming beach city. Number 6. Cheyenne, Wyoming Cheyenne is the capital city of Wyoming and a great, safe place to settle down and call home. With 63,000 residents, it has all the amenities and enough things to do to keep you busy and entertained. It's another city that is very old and rich in history. Founded on the 4th of July back in 1867, it is home to Cheyenne Frontier Days, the world's largest outdoor rodeo and western celebration. You can go mountain biking at Kurt Gowdy State Park and explore the number of parks scattered around and outside of the city. Houses sell for about $266,000 and only stay on the market for about three weeks before they go pending. The main industries for employment is healthcare, mining, and oil, so depending on what you do for work, you might have a few options. Cheyenne has continually been ranked number one in affordability among capital cities in the U.S. and is a good, safe option for living. Number 5. Raleigh, North Carolina Aside from being a great city on its own, Raleigh is in a really good logistical position. It's close enough that you can take a day trip to the ocean by going one way and to the mountains by going the other. Home to 464,000 people, it's definitely one of the larger cities on the list. The metro area is really big too, with almost 1.5 million residents. The city is known for being home to the North Carolina State University and its tech sector. It's also home to several free, high-quality museums, so if that's your thing, you'll be in heaven. Houses here are a bit pricey at $375,000, and it's a very competitive market. You can, however, still get a one-bedroom apartment for under $1,000, which is much less to similar-sized cities. As the city continues to grow, so do the jobs available. Raleigh has a low unemployment rate as people are finding work. Downtown is full of bakeries, delis, restaurants, and a number of breweries. People are moving here because of the community feel and events that happen throughout the year, making it a very desirable place. Number 4. Indianapolis, Indiana When most people think of Indianapolis, one thing probably comes to mind. The Indianapolis 500. It is the world's largest single-day sporting event, bringing more than 300,000 people to the city. Indianapolis is the largest city in Indiana with 864,000 people. It's also home to three Fortune 500 companies, four universities, and several museums. The Children's Museum of Indianapolis is the world's largest children's museum. You can easily spend an entire day there with the family. While some parts of the city are questionable, a majority are still relatively safe to live in and entertain. Homes are still very affordable with a median sales price of $214,000, but as more people realize this and move here, it is steadily rising each year. 66% of the residents here are households and 35% are under 25, so the city is very active. It doesn't feel like a city with almost 1 million people as there's a lot of things to keep you busy and on your feet. Number 3. Boise, Idaho Often overlooked and not considered, Boise is a great city with a ton of natural beauty and a distinct vibe. The capital city of Idaho, the population is 226,000, but the metro is 749,000. There are a lot of people here, but you couldn't tell by driving through it. It's often referred to as the best place for millennials to live because of the startup scene and entertainment. With the Boise River present, you can count on great parks and water activities. The mountains aren't far, so you can also experience great hiking, biking, and mountain climbing. The historic Idaho Penitentiary is a big draw to the area as you can tour it and see the old cells, gallows, and military weapons. Unfortunately, like most things in Idaho, homes don't come cheap. The median sales price is $494,000 and most homes sell in a little over two weeks. That's for a modest place. 
Most are listed and sell for much more depending on what part of the city you're in. Still, with everything that Boise has to offer, more people are moving in rather than out, which says a lot about it. Number two, Jacksonville, Florida. Who doesn't love and enjoy a great Florida beach town on the Atlantic Ocean? Jacksonville is a lot bigger than people realize with a population of 890,000 people. If you're looking for picturesque beaches, tons of parks, restaurants, coffee shops, and bars, you'll be happy here. Of course, if sitting on the beach and getting your tan on is more your speed, you can do that too. The cost of living there is 5% lower than the national average and you can pick up a decent house for a modest $275,000. That's pretty cheap when you look at all the city has to offer. St. Johns County, where Jacksonville resides, is the wealthiest county in Florida, so finding a good paying place to work won't be too hard. The weather is another great bonus to living here as winter temps are usually in the mid-60s, and you can expect to rarely see any snow. Jacksonville's also really close to a lot of other Florida cities and attractions should you decide to take a vacation. Number 1. Denver, Colorado Denver is often referred to as the Mile High City because of its location being in the Rocky Mountains with an elevation that is exactly one mile above sea level at 5,280 feet. With over 700,000 residents, it's the largest city in Colorado and is also the capital city of Colorado. Denver is one of the America's fastest growing cities and people are moving here in record numbers. People love it here. What's really not to love? You've got plenty of places downtown to entertain and room for major acts at Coors Field. Breweries, parks, museums, and landmark century old buildings are everywhere you look, ready to entertain its visitors. House prices are very high with an average sale price of around $516,000 and they are usually listed and sold within a week. It doesn't really give buyers much time to really think about it. If you enjoy sports, outdoor winter sports to be specific, you will love the fact that Denver gets around 60 inches of snow annually. Combine that with the fact that there are about 245 sunny days per year and you'll find yourself enjoying the outdoors a lot. Denver is a great place to live if you can afford it and definitely worth checking out. All right, everyone, that'll do for today's video. If you're interested in learning more about specific things to do in these cities, check out our channel for our What Makes This Place Great series. We go over the top 10 attractions in all of these cities. While you're still here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That makes us really happy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, y'all.